What are the latest breakthroughs in performance, memory, and storage? What's new with Watson, one of the largest AI platforms in the world? Cloud and AI are taking center stage in Las Vegas as the GeekWire team is back on the scene at IBM Think. Attendees are gathered here to learn the latest ways to work smarter, modernize their infrastructure, and improve enterprise data security. I'm Brian Westbrook. This is Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. Recently, there was an announcement. IBM was talking about security and data centers with a partnership with Intel. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that recent announcement and, and why that's a bit of a game changer? There are a couple of announcements that are being made at Intel Think, IBM Think, where Intel has collaborated quite uh, closely with IBM on. One of them is the IBM Cloud Container Service with Trusted Compute. IBM Cloud Container Service is a bare metal container orchestration service. It uses a technology called Kubernetes, which is where open source and broadly used by many customers. And the trusted compute angle ensures that the integrity of the infrastructure is always assured. So you as a customer, when you're running containers, which are applications or workloads packaged as containers, you have the assurance that there is that integrity all the way down from the microchip to the software that's running on the platform. When the data and the application's running, that's when it's vulnerable to a variety of attacks. So we've filled that last gap of data protection, that's data in use. And the way we do that is we leverage a technology from Intel, it's called Intel SGX, Software Guard Extensions. And we provide a building block for applications to run their applications transparently on SGX without any modifications. For example, this is a MySQL database. This is a, a typical building block as a microservice in a database layer for storing transactions and uh, personal information. So what we've done is we've created a protected image of the MySQL that's running securely in the Intel SGX Enclave. On our left, we have the unprotected application running. It has stored credit card information. On the right, I have a protected version of the application running. So I'm searching for credit card transactions, emails. I was able to extract that. Here it's encrypted and it's completely safe from that attack. One of the sessions we just got out of was really a fascinating look at persistent memory, what it is, just an overview of sorts by Intel's Andy Rudolph. So persistent memory is a new tier between memory and storage. And it's interesting because a new technology from Intel and Micron together called 3D Crosspoint promises to make it a huge new tier, huge in capacity, cheaper than DRAM, and it's just something we've never had before, so it, it's a, it gives programmers a choice. Lots of this exciting new Intel technology is going into cloud and AI. How is persistent memory going to make an impact on these exciting new worlds? So we really believe it's going to be a, a, a very important component. The cloud folks are figuring out exactly how to use it, how to take advantage of that capacity, how to take advantage of the persistence. Uh, the AI folks are able to store uh, huge data structures in it. All cloud services are not created equal. IBM delivers differentiated cloud services powered by the latest Intel Xeon processors, Optane SSD, and network innovations. Intel's Scott Sadama explains the partnership between Intel and IBM. IBM is really interested on differentiating their cloud services. So security being probably one of the biggest challenges enterprises have today, we're working with them to bring new and differentiated services to market. What do you look out and see that really catches your eye? I mean, I see Watson right over here. What, what are some of those technologies you think, gosh, it was amazing when we first talked about this X number of years ago? Well, I mean, obviously artificial intelligence, everyone's talking about that and, you know, what IBM's doing with Watson and all of their different AI properties um, is, is pretty exciting. And uh, uh, a lot of those capabilities run on Intel-based servers and capabilities that are already deployed in IBM's cloud. IBM recently announced their IBM Cloud Private, where they're actually bringing these cloud capabilities in a cohesive form to the premise or on-prem. And so now you're starting to see them uh, stitch together a complete hybrid on-prem public cloud and hybrid story. Optane is a newer SSD technology that we announced over the last year. It's based on some new NAND technology called 3D Crosspoint. It's not just another SSD. It has very high performance, low latency characteristics. We're just starting to see solutions come to market like vSAN and others that are starting to take advantage of it. So uh, we're in the early stages, but I think there's a lot of exciting applications coming. You know, we heard a lot about the smarter business and how a one cloud architecture delivers on that. But one of the biggest challenges that customers face is how can I take my enterprise workloads and move them to the cloud? Kind of the lift and shift, which we all talk about, has been really difficult. And the challenge is because you don't have a compatible environment that you have on-prem running in the cloud. IBM and VMware have been working together to build that VMware compatible environment. 
And the more exciting news for this week is we've announced a new technology, a new service called Hybrid Cloud Extension. This really simplifies how you can move workloads back and forth from on-prem to the cloud and move it back if needed. Tell us about some of these extreme partnerships that have happened and these relationships you've been working on specifically this week at IBM Think. Yeah, so the extreme partnership has really been about enabling our sales force, enabling the larger IBM to understand the strong value proposition we offer. It's a best kept secret. 1,400 clients and we haven't got started yet. You walk down the halls, you talk of the partner system. How do we take their ecosystem, their channel partners, our sales force together to deliver value to our end customer? And that's really been exciting. So it's less about expanding more partnerships, it's about enabling what we already have in place and getting the word out. Now that it's evening on the first day of IBM's Think 2018, we're upstairs of Delano on the top level with a gorgeous view of the Las Vegas Strip. Here are gathered a number of IBM executives and others mixing and mingling, networking if you will, in the IBM and Intel cloud community. We've had a series of meetings all day long which is really about driving business and taking advantage of the accelerated pace of technology uh, in companies today. So, and I, I saw a lot of people that were getting help of how they should move forward and a lot of decisions between IBM and partners. IBM's artificial intelligence engine, Watson, is finding its way along the road just about everywhere you can imagine. Bryson Kaler at IBM tells us more. Our customers are all on this journey together, but they're all taking different routes to get there. And so they're all trying to figure out like, how do I do this? Like, what's the philosophical change that I need to take my organization through? What's the cultural change that I need to take my organization through? And then what technology do I use to help me accelerate that journey? In our conversations with customers the last few days here at IBM Think, some recurring themes keep coming up in these conversations. But this is why Intel and HITRUST have come together with IBM to create a solution for that problem which is called IBM Cloud Secure Virtualization. IBM Secure Virtualization was co-designed by Intel, IBM, and HITRUST to specifically remove a lot of those security obstacles that prevent companies from taking better advantage of the cloud. I'm Brian Westbrook, thanks for watching Shift presented by Intel and GeekWire. For more of these videos, check out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out online, geekwire.com slash shift. And that's a wrap from IBM Think in Las Vegas. We'll see you next time.